Dawson's Rambles. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with a quick little bit of lightning collection news. This is basically just reconfirmation of what is going to be Wave 8. We got the rumors about it before based on the code hackers that found it, but now we have official confirmation as the official listings that aren't in stupid codes are found on ToyWiz. And the only reason I really wanted to talk about it was just to let you know it's confirmed, but also because I actually really dig this wave. So this wave is Zeo Ranger 4 Green, it is SPD Pink, it is Dino Thunder Blue, and it is a presumable reprint of Lost Galaxy Red. I mean presumable because it probably will be. I don't think there'll be anything different about it. But I dig this wave because it kind of fits some purposes in addition to having some rangers I really want. I mean this continues to fill out the SPD figures. All we really need now is what yellow and green and we have the core seven SPD rangers. And then for Zeo with this one now with Zeo Ranger 4 all we need now is the girls. I, I would love for them to do like a GameStop 2 pack and then we'd be done. Like, we're so close for both of those. And then, same thing with Dino Thunder. After this, we only need yellow and black for the primary rangers. Of course, there's still stuff like Triassic Ranger and whatnot, and if they ever dip into Battleizers or something, but I don't expect that anytime soon. But who knows? They did the monsters and they did A-Squad, but with blue, though, if we just get yellow, then we have the core three. So with the three new figures alone, it starts to flesh out some of the full teams, and I think they said that um, on one of the Fan Fridays. I don't remember if this one or the last one or if it was just a comment, but they said they're going to be trying to sort of round out some teams because it could seem a little bit like it was on random before, which it kind of was, but I like the way that this wave starts to complete things more. And then you do have the Lost Galaxy Red, which is a re-release, which always rubs people the wrong way, or not always, but some people the wrong way, in terms of double dipping, because, you know, that's kind of something expected, especially with Hasbro figures, if you follow Marvel or, or Star Wars stuff, you know, it happens. I think there is a little bit more double dipping than I expected within this just this last year. But that being said, I think it gives a good opportunity for people that didn't get it or got things in different ways, especially with Lost Galaxy Red, because as you know, that first released in a two pack with Psycho Red, and then we got the Psycho 5 pack. So if either you weren't interested in Psycho Red at all, and you didn't want to shell out that extra money to get someone you didn't want, or you wound up holding out and got the 5 pack, then you're going to obviously want Lost Galaxy Red. So I think this is a smart move all around. I don't really foresee it being different. Um, the only reason I'm just a little bit curious is because the only other re-releases we've really had is Goldar, which wasn't really a re-release. It was kind of touted as a slightly different release because like the retailer exclusive one was with Wings and then you had the standard retail one which didn't have wings, so there was a difference. It's technically like a different form or whatever. But then you have the White Ranger, which just re recently re-released in Wave 7, which was identical and just was a another way for people to get something that already released, with the only difference at all being that it came in that fancy Target packaging. But Lost Galaxy Red is a little bit different because he was a retailer, one of those retailer exclusives, but he wasn't standalone unless they're doing a Lights of Orion version, which this doesn't seem to be. That's not a, a difference there and you know it wasn't like Goldar or it wasn't like the White Ranger where it was a standalone regular release that's getting a re-release but I expect it to basically be 99% the same. It would be cool if there was a little something different about it um, but then again that would probably defeat the purpose because then if, like OCD completionists would have to get both. They should just include Mike's head. Why did they not include Mike's head in Magnet Defender? That's like another one where there's not another form. Like, I just can't think of, unless they end up doing the Solar Ranger equivalent down the, the line. You know, because there's some figures I can see like, oh, they could include this head or this accessory later because there's multiple forms. But with Magnet Defender, that's all you get is just Magnet Defender. I, I don't know. Just give us Mike's head. I don't know. Mike's! Head. That's about it. I just wanted to talk about that because I think this is a really nice wave uh, that brings like some solid filling out and solid opportunities to get figures for people's collections for people that somehow didn't want to get Lost Galaxy Red before and it continues to complete teams for team completionists. But what do you guys think? What is your favorite figure in this wave? Do you think this is a nice wave like I do? Let me know in the comments as always. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell so you can just my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.